Welcome to this video about a strange rugby ball shaped planet. Now this planet is known as WASP 103b and it was originally discovered in 2014 by the WASP telescope. There's actually a, a few of these in different locations but the WASP stands for Wide Angle Search for Planets. So there's actually a few telescopes there that make up the whole telescope and it's a wide angle search looking for exoplanets. Now the original signal um, was detected from the transit method and you got this dip in brightness. So here's the original signal and you can then work out some information about the actual exoplanet itself. So it blocked out some of the light and follow up observations then gave a much better fit. So they used various different telescopes to get a better fit of that transit shape. And you can see the amount of flux or the brightness of the star that it's blocking out and you've got a much better shape there. So from those follow up observations and the original one, it was found that this planet had a radius of about one and a half times Jupiter. So it's a fairly large planet. Interestingly, it's also a very close in planet. So it's an ultra short period exoplanet, which means that it has an orbital period less than one day. So its orbital period is about 0.9 days. And this was found by looking at the radial velocity method as well as the time between the transits. So here you can see how the radial velocity changes during one orbital period. And that is the line of sight velocity of the star that we're measuring, because we've got to remember that they're orbiting a common center of mass. So as that star wobbles around, that matches the orbital period of the planet as well. So we've got the orbital period and the size of the exoplanet. But interestingly, quite recently, there's been these follow-up observations, again, with various telescopes, They've done better fits for the transit shape. They've also ran spherical and ellipsoid models of the shape to see how that transit shape changes and what the best fit is. Now, the green lines at the bottom there is the difference between the spherical model and the ellipsoid model. And it turns out that the ellipsoid model fits better to the transit shape of this particular exoplanet. And that is then the, what has revealed that it's actually not spherical and is rugby ball shape basically so it's quite an elongated planet and it's the the shape of that transit that gives us that it's actually where it starts to transit in front of the star and when it exits where you get this difference between the two models now we know it's going to be quite close in because its orbital period is quite low but it's actually only about two percent the difference between the earth and the sun so it's about 0.2 au from its star so it's very close to its star and because of that, the strong tidal forces, which then stretch the planet towards the star. So the gravitational forces on the edge closest to the star are greater. So you get these, this tide across the planet, which then stretches it. You get this stretching of it, which causes the shape. Now, because it's very close as well, it's also very hot. So it's about 20 times hotter than Jupiter. So no, not only is it a very odd shape, but it's very hot very close to its planet. So it's a very interesting and strange planet that we've found here. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed, you can check out some of the other videos.